What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com. Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So this is an absolutely fabulously fun video for me to bring to you all today. This is part two of a two-part series on Albert Greenberg. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, don't watch this yet. Click the links here. Check out part one of Eureka Springs Park that he grew as a business and then closed down and donated to the county of Hillsborough uh, down in Florida. Like super cool walk through there. This is part two, okay? I go through the greenhouse that's public. You all can go there and check it out. It's super cool. But then after that, the guy Bob who now lives there was kind enough to invite me and Shelby to his home and check it out, his place where he has a concrete uh, concrete pond in the shape of a fish as well as ponds he blew out with dynamite to keep tropical fish in, also in the shape of fish. I gotta give a shout out to Seagrass for making this possible, I'll admit. I didn't even know who this guy was until I started working with Seagrass and then uh, Shelby from Seagrass took me down, so shout out to them, check out their videos as well. And enjoy this, if you do like this video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're feeling it, give me a subscribe if you think I deserve it. And enjoy this video, folks, it was a riot to make. Drop me a comment. This is called Greenhouse Goals. <laughs> Hard part is I have to look with my own two eyes. Wow, this place is awesome. you lost your husband last year. she's retired. Some of these air roids are <clears throat> semi rare. Some of them, shoot, we got from uh, the Air Roid Society. They got them from the uh, Missouri Botanical Gardens with little seedlings. And I think the Air Roid Club paid you know, two or three bucks a piece for them when they were you know, like that. These are cool. <clears throat> Who is the guy that still has a booth at all the sales? Bill? Stuff? Yeah, what's his, his name? His name's Bill. Uh, he lives out there in Winter Haven, I think. I roll in there. pretty good stuff. Yeah, Look he does. This. Of course, now most of it's <clears throat> tissue culture. Wow, this is it. If I can get it. What I'm do we have it. going on in here? This is awesome. I like walked past, didn't even catch the flowers. Gee, uh, we started them off good out here, huh? <laughs> I'll say. I mean, obviously, you know, some of this stuff, you know, me and Bob started out here when it was 20 years ago to get this big. What's, what is the history on this, this actual greenhouse? Like, when was this constructed? It was built in the uh, Hillsborough County in, eight, in the early 80s. Had a $10 million bond issue that the... Um, voters voted on in the past. They built five regional parks, Lettuce Lake, Alderman, Alderman Upper Ford, Tampa Bay. Upper Tampa Bay, <laughs> and they built a, us a room up front and this greenhouse. And all of the, uh, yeah, and all the, uh, yeah, the wilderness parks. Technically, they're owned by uh, Swift Mud. What is this fuzzy? Dr. Seuss looking. Uh, uh, is it Alocasia? <clears throat> Do you know what the uh, copper plant is? I've heard the name, but I. Well, uh, this is. This copper is called plant. a chenille plant. Chenille is some kind of fabric, is that right? Yeah. And I always have to ask some lady because I don't know. <laughs> if you've got something there, you know, you're, you're high end. <laughs> I'm good welcome, girl. It's all good. Good one, Walmart. Going. <laughs> right. I told Don in the park that today I'm good. You know, really the greenhouse looks good. I mean, you know. Did somebody come in and water all this, or is it on sprinklers? Yeah. Or? Yeah, they're and see, they, uh, Donna wanted me to get back up there. I was always the monkey man that would get up and replace all the glass from the outside. Yeah. You know what I keep telling them, and they just like freak. When I tell them. I tell them, you need to cut that magnolia down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Down. You know okay. The magnolia oh, seeds come oh, wow. through it. Really? That's all done from magnolia seeds falling when the squirrels See, eat them. there's already some breakage. Ah. Yeah, there's oh, breakage yeah. all over. There's breakage. And they fixed all of it just a year ago. And it's 
all broken again. Because, you know, I have big, heavy cones. Either that or put the shade cloth up about a foot, a foot off, so off, of the, off of the takes the, yeah. Well, they don't want to do anything with shade cloth. Oh, well, it does make it bigger, but it doesn't smell when we walked in. Go tell them to get rid of the shade, man. Stop cleaning it. Is it? Dead man's finger. That's the worst smelling thing in the world. How about you? <laughs> what? Your finger in, there's a little brown spot What? What there. thing are we talking about? <laughs> it's a fungus. This is right up your alley, man. <laughs> That's a fungus that comes up every now and then. <laughs> now I gotta smell it. Can I smell it without? Uh -huh. uh, well, you might be able to pick it up from the bottom. Yeah, I'm not trying to pick it up if it's the most smelly thing in the world. <laughs> Unless you want to ride, continue riding in the car with me today. <laughs> this is cool. Put it on your carry-on and take it home. <laughs> hey, 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 I'll take that home with you. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> This is cool. Michigan's not quite this uh, I might be able to find some of that Sagittarius. Maybe. Go ahead and close the door. Got it. I need to go grab my my water bottle that I left over there. Oh yeah, your water bottle. <laughs> my water bottle. My water bottle, my water bottle specimen. You... Is that <laughs> his urn? His urn. His urn lays here. His urn, huh? He the rests here, huh? Wow. Ninety six. And he's got his gardeners next to him too, huh? And he gave the park. Unique natural beauty is his gift to the public so that the others may share the joys of nature which he has known. This gift is entrusted to the county of Hillsboro and is to remain perpetually as a public park. Good for you. First gardener. Hmm. Where's the very rare bird? Oh yeah. It's right there. Yeah, do whatever you need to do with those. Yeah, do whatever you need to do with those. To burn it up. Talk about the seat right there. He lived to be 96. Do you think there's any connection with his happiness in nature and living a long time? Umbrella palms. Never married, has no children, and he was married to the plants. 
And now Bob, who's kind enough to let me check out his house, is here. This is amazing, man. Bob, what did he do up here? What was this little, like a little... When he first moved here, there was no air conditioning yet. And he had lived in Ybor City for quite some time. And in Ybor City, everybody would get up on the roofs of their houses to catch a breeze. That was how you got they a little cooler. Back in the old home. Yeah, and they would have canopies and people would sleep under them and stuff. So when he moved out here, he built that and that was his office. And you see it has windows all the way around. Oh, okay. And he would sit up there because he'd try to cool off. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and this, so is this, this is his personal like vats, ponds, kind of, wow. Well, there's really no distinction between the business and the personal. Clearly. Well, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, I guess that's... And that was one stipulation when he gave the, the part to the county that he could still sell plants out of it. Oh, I gotta get a photo of that. bunch of property across the street and there's something like about 50 of them over there really they go back into the woods and he sold that land to some people so could there be something done with them could you lie on them or are they just cracked and kind of done or yeah <laughs> yeah well i want to show in here too because this one yeah, at one point was I don't understand things. Hey, this is this is that right here. I mean, you can see from them this was a serious, you know, because it, this is all has concrete bottoms, and they just put soft sand in it and could grow everything. And as you see, it was plumbed with galvanized block pipe. Wow. And there were runoffs everywhere. So yeah, you would be walking in the water, literally. And yeah, I see the overflows. All the time, yeah, because, you know, it overflows. And it ran out here, ran in the big pond. Huh. And there was water moving all the time. Was it pumped from the big pond? Say again? Where was it pumped from? <laughs> it's called Eureka Spring. Yeah, okay. Pretty much, except for the it, just pumped, it just came in. Well, I don't know. Well, they found... You know what they would do? And I found them all over the place. They would take a piece of four inch galvanized pipe, put a coupling on the end, and pound it into the ground. Huh. And once they got down 15 feet, they had a new well. Wow. And one out of about every four or five of those, once they did that, the water flowed. That's crazy. <laughs> so, I didn't know the water table was that. Oh yeah, it's really shallow. Sure. Right now, These I could ridiculous. go out and I could hit water at 10 feet yeah, or less. She asked about the turtle crawl. I had reptiles out here for a while from when I was at the zoo. And uh, that was fine until, you know, they all started getting loose and stuff. So I kicked them out. Every now and then, some huge python shows up somewhere. <laughs> And they go, we have no idea where it came from. <laughs> well, they, they caught down here at the swift mud office, you know where that is on 301. They caught a, about a 15 foot um, albino <laughs> python down. Yeah, that's not native. A non native python. <laughs> and they just went nuts over it. You know, there were pictures in the paper, there was all this, and they were all going, we can't imagine where this snake is. <laughs> and all, all the hobbies are going. I don't know right where it came from. <laughs>
This is shaped like a fish. Lack of dust and commentary should uh, be an indicator of how in awe I am of this place. Look at that. Oh, I see what you're talking about. That thing's awesome. That's gotta come with me. Shingle plant. Bob, how long have you lived here? Since 94. What's that? 23 and years? We'll let them do the math. Yeah. What I a wrote great 94 setup. on a little piece of concrete I poured. That's the only reason. <laughs> there you go. So where do you where do you hang out and read and read or you well, know this is right the house. there? You want to see the house? Yeah, I mean, we can leave your house alone, man. We're out here. We got this. Yeah. We'll show you Angelfish Pond. The Angelfish Pond? Angelfish no. Pond. I guess we'll see an angelfish pond. That'd be boring. Well, there's <laughs> nothing in there. Really. No angels. No angels. No angels. Somebody's loving me home. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for the tour, man. This is great. Sure. Shelby, you got that other camera? All right. You got it, sir. Cool.